Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today we're going to do part two of this amazing, wonderful cell phone clutch purse. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the pockets. Now the pocket that I'm going to be making for you today, although it doesn't open here in my, uh, my original version, is actually going to be yet another pocket for money. We have a pocket for money here and we're going to now have a pocket for money here and all of our cards. Now if you have not seen the first part of this video, go and check it out on the link. It's going to teach you how to make the bottom part, which is the change purse and the ID part. And you're going to want that because once we're finished this part and this part, we're going to put it all together and make it into a fabulous clutch. Okay, for this part, we are going to need a piece of duct tape fabric that is eight and a half by three. Very, very important. And we're going to need a bunch of duct tape. Now, for this, we're basically making a bunch of duct tape pockets. And if you don't know how to make a pocket, I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. The pockets are four inches wide excuse me, four inches long. I always get that confused. They're going to be two inches wide, but they're four inches long. So I lay my tape down here and I'm going to trim the edge right here and measure out four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to need two pieces of four inch tape for each pocket. So there's one, and put out the second one. Now I'm going to actually use 12 pockets total, so you would need to make 24 pieces, and you can alternate colors, patterns, however you want to do that. So what I've done is I've taken one piece of tape, and I have placed it sticky side up, and now I'm going to take my second piece of tape and I'm going to center it over top, leaving about a pinky width of stickiness, and I'll do it this way so you can see easier, at the top. So there's a pinky width of sticky at the top, and then I'm just going to fold that little sticky over to seal it, and I've left sticky on the back. So this is your basic pocket and you're going to need 12 of these. Now I've already made mine ahead of time here just to make it a little easier and you can come back and trim and make sure that they all line up nicely like I've done here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to need your card. So let me grab my card over here. You're going to grab your card and you're going to lay it down right at the top edge of your fabric. And then you're going to take your first pocket. Now the reason that you're doing it this way is because what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you lay your pocket down, you've got enough space at the top. Otherwise, if you put your pocket too high, your card will stick up and then you won't be able to fold your clutch nicely. So I'm going to fold my sticky edge up. I'm going to line, see how I folded that onto itself? Line that nice clean edge up with the bottom of my card and the side of the wallet, side of this piece of fabric of the wallet. There you go. And now I just flip this up. And now from here down, I will add the rest of my pockets. So I'm going to alternate. I've got my fancy and then my purple. And I'm just lining these up on top of each other. Fancy, purple, fancy, purple, and fancy. Actually, I'm realizing that this is allowing for five. Oh, and if you if you find that you've maybe not quite laid it out exactly where you want it to be. If you want to move this up just a little bit so you can see it, just feel free to peel that off and lay it back down again. Okay, there we go. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five pockets. And just, just testing one more time just to make sure that it doesn't go over. Perfect. I'm going to repeat this process on the opposite side here. And I've actually already jumped ahead so that I have that done. 
as you can see, there it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this center. And to seal the center, I'm just going to take some tape. And I'm going to cut this into strips right down the middle. This is just for my center one, and I'm cutting it right down the middle. So this is like an inch strip. I'm laying this right down the middle of my card pockets. See that? I'm going to flip this over and seal it on the back and seal it on the back. Now, here's the great thing. Right now, I do not have to seal anymore because when I add this to my whole clutch, then I'll seal those edges. So right now, if you saw part one, you should have this piece and you should have this piece now. And now we are ready to put the whole thing together. So for more of that, come back to sophie-world.com for part three and putting it all together.